So you like to do is, huh? You think it's pretty cool? Is that what you think? I do think it's pretty cool. But what are the three main alternatives to to do is that you haven't even tried? Number one, Tick Tick. No, not Tick Tock, not that thing. Get that out of here. When you go to Tick Tick's website, you'll see very quickly that it is something that is available for free. And if you click on download, you can see it's available for Windows, Android, and iOS devices, as well as Mac, even your Apple Watch. And just on web and it's got extensions, very, very well covered. If you're wondering whether Tick Tick's for you, I'd basically say if you're aware of all the features of Todoist, give it all the features of Todoist and then actually add a thing or two uh, for the most part. So it's very similar. Uh, I just don't think the UI UX looks that great. And the calendar view is something that's possible. It's sort of like a one-way sync here, but you have to pay $2.4 per month for the premium version to get it. And in the task section here, you also notice that there is a notes option. So if I'm gonna create a list here, there's an option for a task list and a note list because you can create tasks and notes within here. So just press plus anywhere and you'll see that these guys are inherently different. Now, they're not that much different. I mean, really, it's like a slight tweak to the system, but they do have a notes option here, which is unique. It also unique in comparison to Todoist has an Eisenhower matrix option as well as a habit tracking option too. It's very basic, but it does get the job done. I personally don't use Tick Tick at all because I think the aesthetic is kind of garbo, but the mobile app is really nice. And if you go and notice in here, it also has a very good feature, which is the focus timer. So if I press Control Alt P, you see that this little focus timer pops up. So it's essentially a Pomodoro timer. And I'm a big fan of this. I have yet to find another tool that has that integrated as well as habits and to-do lists and notes. So if you find something else, let me know and I'll get one up. This is what I'm supposed to know about. But seriously, it is a very cool option to be able to pull this up when working on your tests and working on a task section. Now, number two is actually gonna be our Mac alternative for this video. So things is an option for those of us that are very much into, you know, the Mac ecosystem you can get this uh, it is only a paid option but you essentially do a one-time purchase on any of these platforms for these specific prices and then you're kind of good to go if you want very similar features to todoist get things if you want to have a to-do list app that is integrated into the mac ecosystem and has beautiful commercials just like this one that then get things it is very highly recommended by most people who you overly Mac ecosystem. But if you don't want to pay for something and you want something overly Mac ecosystem, just use the reminders app, very underrated. But seriously, this thing does have all the features that you'd really need, priorities, tags, beautiful design, today view, inbox view, all that fun task management jazz. But if you want an option that is free and or you're stuck using whatever you have at your job, Go with Microsoft To Do. If you're somebody who has a job that is in the Microsoft ecosystem, this is very convenient. So I got a Microsoft To Do. What's really nice about this tool is that it integrates with things like Microsoft Planner, Microsoft Teams, Outlook, all that ecosystem is packaged up into a tool that is completely free and gets all the updates without you needing to pay anything. So if you're someone who's like, I need to only have free software and I wanna get all the features, guess Microsoft. Big, big tech solved your problem. It also has all the same basic stuff like recurring tasks, lists, the option for a my, the my day section, an important section, showing even things that are just assigned to me. And even you'll see here, I have list groups here that were like separated by different lists for days of the week where they have recurring tasks in there. It doesn't quite have the really cool quick capture feature. Like you can't just press a key bind and then this thing's gonna pop up anywhere, but it does have natural language processing like the other one. As it says, pay utilities bills by Friday at 6 p.m. and it will and it will remind you at that time it has due dates and reminders assign add a file add notes your usual stuff it's a very underrated productivity app i'm literally bringing it up because for some reason people are like try this try this try this like try this and genuinely this is not bad like it's i've seen worse so you should definitely give this a try and you can definitely give out tries to other videos that i've made like this one right here